Saigon, capital of South Vietnam, and a city well known to troops who have served or are serving with the headquarters of the Australian forces here in Vietnam. Despite years of war and numerous Viet Cong terror and rocket attacks, life goes on for the stoic Vietnamese civilians. The hub of all Australian service activities is located in Cholon, behind the imposing facade of the Free World Military Forces building. Here at his headquarters is the commander of the Australian Forces, Major General A.L. Macdonald. I welcome this opportunity of speaking to you on behalf of the Australian Force in Vietnam. I want you to know that members of the Force are doing a fine job, despite the difficulties and hazards of service here. They are an excellent heart and the morale is superb, and I firmly believe this is due in large part to the wonderful support given to the Force by people in Australia. I particularly wish to thank the families and others close to members of the Force for their understanding and forbearance in this period of separation. Your are already acceptance of the many difficulties and perhaps sorrows inevitable in the absence of your husbands or sons has done much to maintain their spirits. We are grateful too for the efforts of the many organisations and groups, too numerous to mention individually, who have devoted their time and money towards providing amenities and other assistance to the force. It is most reassuring to know that you in Australia have at heart the continued well-being of our sailors, soldiers and airmen. Finally, I wish you all a happy Christmas and I join with you in the hope that the new year will bring peace to this troubled country. Australian servicemen get the opportunity to visit to Saigon on special guard duty. Private John Nelson had just come off duty at the Australian Embassy. His mother and father and his girlfriend live in Carnarvon. Hi there, Mum and Dad. How's things? I guess uh, you didn't expect this sort of thing to happen. It isn't every uh, soldier gets this chance to have uh, a little bit of a talk here on Christmas morning. I, all the best of Christmas and all the kids, especially you, Anne. Look after yourself. And as for you, Diane, we'll be home shortly, honey. Just you wait and see what goes on, OK? Seeing the sights around Saigon, uh, we found Private Gary McVeigh of Bunbury and Private Chris Ham of Perth, the uh, Mylands. Hello, darling. Uh, hope you're having a very Merry Christmas uh, there with Sue and Jeff. And uh, everything is OK over here. And don't, uh, don't forget I'll be home in a few months and uh, everything will be OK once more. Also, I'd like to say a uh, very Merry Christmas to you, Mum and Dad in Bunbury. Uh, I hope the uh, family get-together get came off OK. Well, I'd like to say hello to uh, Mum and Dad and the rest of the family, and Merry Christmas to all of you. Um, hello to me mate, Graham. Keep putting them bottles in the fridge, Graham, because I'm coming home soon. It's about 17 on a wake. The majority of the 8,000 Australian servicemen in Vietnam see little or nothing of Saigon. At Nui Dat, about 40 miles southeast of the capital, is the operational base for the 1st Australian Task Force. It's home for about 5,000 officers and men. From Nui Dat, are launched the operations against the enemy in Phuc Thuy and the neighbouring provinces. The commander of the task force is Brigadier Sandy Pearson. Uh, on behalf of all the soldiers of this task force, I would like to, wi uh, to wish everyone in Australia a very Merry Christmas. Every one of us would very much love to be home with our families on this particular day. This is not possible, and the best we can do is to think of you uh, and to think of you all getting together and thinking of us on this day. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all the people of Australia for the support both in the material and spiritual kind that they're giving to the soldiers of this task force. We all appreciate very much the various groups that are doing their uh, utmost to provide us with a lot of the comforts uh, and other material things that we uh, miss from our normal home life. Again, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everyone in Australia. Okay. 105 howitzers of 102 Field Regiment here at Nui Dat. 
There are two Western Australians in this crew. Number two on the gun is Gunner Stuart McEwen from Scarborough. I just like to wish Mum and Dad a uh, very uh, happy Christmas. My sister Margaret, uh, little brother Michael, and uh, little sister Karen. Uh, special wish to uh, my girlfriend Louise. Uh, I hope to be home uh, pretty soon after Christmas, and I uh, hope to see you all then. Uh, one of my mates, Kevin Farrell, and his wife Christine, and my goddaughter, goddaughter Geraldine, another one of my mates, uh, Pat McDonald. Gunner Tony Townsend comes from Subiaco, but his wife Julie is waiting for him in Shenton Park. Uh, Merry Christmas, Julie, baby, uh, Merry Christmas, Mum, Mr and Mrs Martin, the kids, and the grandmother, friends. The battery commander of 102 Field Battery is Major Gavin Andrews. His wife, Patricia, and his small boy, Lachlan, are waiting for him at Sandgate, Brisbane. Uh, to all uh, relatives and friends of the members of 102 Field Battery, uh, go my very sincere and best wishes this Christmas. And to my wife, Patricia, and son, Lachlan, my very special thoughts will be with you today. The men and vehicles of C Squadron, one armoured regiment, have just returned from operations. The driver of this vehicle is Trooper Bob Winrow of Bedford Park. Uh, good morning, Mum and Pop. Uh, I hope you're having a good Christmas day and I uh, hope you have a better one than up here in Nui Dat. Uh, just been on R&R, as you know, to Singapore. I had a pretty good time. Um, I hope uh, Ken has a good Christmas too. I hope he doesn't have to start in the country. Um, well, that's all I can think of to say. Uh, best of luck to all the folks at Bedford Park, too. Thanks so much. Trooper Graham Jackson is from Como. So, Mum and Dad, Brian and Marilyn, I hope you're all well. Uh, I'd like to take the opportunity of wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I won't be long now and I should be home, so you could uh, leave a couple of cold ones in the fridge for me. Lance Corporal Joe Trewinski is from Mandurah. Hi, Mum and Dad, uh, Jazzy. Hello, um, Bonnie and Laurie, uh, Susie and Kathy. There, at, uh, I hope you all uh, have, enjoy a happy Christmas and a uh, new year, better than I am. I had a special hello to uh, Tony and Bev. I don't know at this stage whether it was a girl or a boy. I do hope it's a girl. Um, I would certainly hope you have a better Christmas and uh, new year than I'm having uh, or might have here. Corporal Trevor Lowe is from Calabaran. Hello, Mum and Dad. Wish you a Merry Christmas, Lorraine, Doug, Ashley, Mr. and Mrs. Huggett, all my friends in Calabaran, all my people in Perth. I hope you uh, get to see this OK. Anyhow, Mum, wish you a many Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you all. A squadron of the 3rd Cavalry Regiment are equipped with armoured personnel carriers. The crew, the crew commander of this vehicle is Lance Corporal Peter Strudwick of Mandurah. Hi, Mum and Dad. Hope you're having a happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. They say it's going to be quite good over here, I hope so as well. I'd like to say a special hello to Dulcie McDonald of Greenbushes. Hi, hi, Dulcie. We'll see you next September when we come home. Sapper Ian Llewellyn is the refrigeration mechanic attached to the first field squadron here at Nui Dat. He comes from Camo, Western Australia. Hi, Mum and Dad. I'd like to say hello and uh, send my very best wishes to you for a very happy Christmas. And everyone at home, Faye, David, my sister, Mary, Glenn. Hope you all have a very happy Christmas and a most enjoyable New Year. Now one of the airframe fitters at 161 Recce Flight here at Nui Dat is Craftsman Bill Car Carpenter. He comes from Yaloop. Thank you, sir. Hi, everybody back home. I bet you didn't expect to see me staring out of the TV set at you on Christmas Day. Anyhow, I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope to be home in the New Year, Dad, so don't forget to keep some of those spirits for me. The test firing before going out on operations ensures the correct operation of weapons and ammunition. Uh, this soldier is Corporal Tom Lewis of Balgo, Western Australia. Uh, hi there, Dorney. Uh, how are you, love? Uh, feeling pretty good at the moment. Um, I'd like to say hello to Mum and Dad Lewis and uh, Mum and Dad Stevenson, Dudley, Duncan and Nola. Uh, I hope to see you all pretty soon. Have a good Christmas. See you later. Signalman Roy Pilkington comes from Carignup. Uh, 
Hello there, Val. How are you keeping? How are things back home? The baby is getting quite big by now. Give my regards to uh, Rod and Barbara. I'll be home in uh, January for a bit of leave. Don't forget to get, put some beer in the fridge. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. See you later. Bye. Sergeant David Lawson comes from Inglewood. Hi there, Gwen. Douglas, how are you keeping, darling? Well, like I said, uh, when I was home on leave, uh, it won't be too long now and we'll be back together again. Hi, Mum. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed your trip very much. And we'll be seeing you too. Anyway, Merry Christmas and uh, have a good New Year too. Uh, Ron Harris from uh, Malawa. Hello, Mum, Dad, Ken, Maureen and Johnny and the kids. Nancy and Eric and the kids. Lorraine, Robert, Rodney and Daphne. Wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I'm enjoying myself here in Malaya with Marion and Michelle. I'll see you this time next year. Between operations, the boys get a chance to relax over a can of good old Aussie beer. This is Sergeant Frank Cashmore of Wembley Downs. Uh, firstly, I'd like to say uh, good day to my darling wife, Anne, uh, my new baby daughter, who has, born, has been born since I've been here in Vietnam. Uh, also, my parents down in Collie, uh, my mother-in-law from the Premier Hotel, Mrs. Peg Davis, and uh, my uh, sister and brother-in-law at the farm in Querreding. I hope you're all right, Beryl, and uh, I've recovered from the earthquake, and I hope it didn't affect the farm. In myself, I'm quite good. Uh, by the time you see this newsreel, we'll have a very short time to go, and before you know what, I'll be back home, and we'll be having a few beers together. Thank you. Private Kevin Tonkin comes from Collie. I'd just like to say hello to Mum, Dad, the kids, everyone back home there in Collie. Also, mate Ken and his wife Pam up in Perth. Let you know, all know that I'm very well. And like Frank, I'll see you all again very shortly after this newsreel. Corporal Danny Wright comes from Cotslow. Well, first of all, I'd like to say hello and wish Merry Christmas to Mum and Dad. Uh, I wouldn't like you uh, to worry about the moustache too much. It's only for a bet. Um, to Sharon, my sister, I'd like to say how proud I am of how you went in the world titles and I'd really like to be able to jump with you some go and do a few more jumps. Thanks very much. Lance Corporal Milton Kirk's family live at Scarborough. I'd just like to say hello to my uh, mother, two brothers and uh, wish you all a ma uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Also to uh, all of my mates and the same as the rest of the blokes. Uh, shortly after you see this news reel we'll be home with you and uh, we'll all be able to have a few beers together. Thank you. Gunner Norman Brown comes from Armadale. How are you, Mum? How are uh, Rob and Kev? Hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I wish I was over there with you. And, oh, well, that's all I can say, but uh, I hope you have a, do have a Happy New Year and a Merry Christmas and keep up the writing and send the parcels and all the relatives and the mates and that. I wish them a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, too. Thanks. The commanding officer of the 1st Battalion Royal Australian Regiment in Vietnam is Lieutenant Colonel Phil Bennett and his wife, Margaret, is waiting for him at Holdsworthy. On behalf of all of those men of the 1st Battalion who could not be included on this program, may I for them wish the mothers and fathers, their relatives and friends, particularly their girlfriends, a very happy Christmas. We're all thinking about you very sincerely on this special occasion. To all those many organisations, too uh, numerous in fact to mention, could I thank you for the gift parcels, the books and the many kind wishes of support that we've all received. We appreciate it a great deal and it's done a lot for the morale of this battalion. We thank you and we have written to thank you. Those that have not been able to do so through duties and their commitment to operations join with me in expressing their gratitude for your generosity and thoughtfulness. To our wives and our relatives in Holsworthy and those people who've done a wonderful job looking after our families while we've been away through the Australian Overseas Service Association, we are indeed thankful for the help throughout the year. We miss our families very much and we're looking forward to coming home. To my own wife, Margaret, and my three children, my love and best wishes for a very happy Christmas day. Returning to their base on the horseshoe is a patrol from 5th platoon of 4th battalion, the Royal Australian Regiment. They've been out for three days.
uh, Ken Baker from uh, Palm Beach, Western Australia. I'd like to take this chance to say good day to my mum and dad and family and uh, keep the beer cold and save one for me when I get back. And uh, hope to see us all then. And I'll pass you on to my mate here, Stuart Collins uh, from Western Australia also. Thank you. Well, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to Derek and Jane and the kids, Mrs. Michael and Tasman and the rest of the family, and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Bairstow and all the kids there. I'd like to wish all of you Merry Christmas and hope to see you next year sometime. The commanding officer of the 4th Battalion, Royal Australian Regiment, is Lieutenant Colonel Lee Grovel. His family, his wife and four children are waiting for him in Hamilton, Brisbane. I wish to extend Christmas greeting to all those families of the officers and men of my battalion on behalf of us here in Vietnam. I speak for those husbands, sweethearts and fathers who may not get this wonderful opportunity to send their personal messages. We would all love to be with you over this festive period. We will be thinking of you and we all hope you have a wonderful Christmas. So my Christmas message to you is this. Your men are in good health, are wonderfully fit and I'm very proud of them. Be of good spirit, keep your letters and messages in a vein which reflect that spirit and you'll be making a very worthwhile contribution to their welfare, their effectiveness and their safety. A happy Christmas to you all. To my wife Peggy, my children Richard, Virginia, Andrew and Jamie, I send my love and wish that you have a wonderfully enjoyable holiday at the beach and that Christmas is an exciting and happy time for you all. Fire support base Lion is typical of the position set up to provide quick and accurate support for the infantry soldiers on operation. And the man swinging the shovel down here is Private Dennis O'Neill from Northam. Hi there, Mum and Dan. Hope you're all having a Merry Christmas. And also, I'd like to miss, wish a Merry Christmas to me seven brothers, my sister Anne, my girlfriend Yvonne, everybody else there in Northern. Hope you're having a wonderful time. All the best. A detachment of 131 Divisional Locating Battery are operating radar equipment here on Fire Support Base Lion. This is Gunner Martin Cranges of Morley. Hello everyone there in Perth. Um, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, especially my parents and my sister. Um, I'm sure you'll all enjoy yourselves. Uh, I'll certainly try and draw myself up here. Uh, well, that's about all for now. At Operational Fire Support Base Flinders, the 105mm howitzers of the 1st Field Regiment, supplied by American Chinook transport helicopters, are on call to back infantry troops in action. Next to their rifles, the field guns are the foot soldiers' best friend and one of the main reasons for the defection of the, of the Viet Cong. The building of sandbag emplacements to protect the guns is back-breaking work. In charge of this party is Sergeant Dick Stevenson of Mount Claremont. Hi, Will and I, Dad, Mr. and Mrs. Nation, Colin Glenn. Uh, first of all, on Christmas Day today, I'd like to extend the best wishes for a very happy Christmas and a very prosperous New Year. I'm hoping that within 140 days I shall be home for a good rest. In the meantime, all the best and have a beer for me. Gunner Bob, Ship Bob Shippard is from Belmont. Hello, Mum and Dad. How are you? And hope the family's all right. Thank you for the presents and papers. Thanks very much and a happy Mer and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, Gunner Leo Adams, family lives uh, in Well, Fremantle. I suppose it's a bit of a surprise to you all. Uh, well, I'd just like to wish you all a uh, happy Christmas, Mum and Dad, and uh, thank you for everything you've done. And Tell Susan it won't be long before our plans start to develop. The fourth member of this party is going to marry Hall of Albany. Dad, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and uh, all the rest of the family and hope you're all well. I'm pretty fit myself and after Christmas I'll be uh, on the downhill run. I shall be home uh, sometime around May. In villages such as Long Tuan, another war, a war against poverty and disease is being fought. Every day in the Phuc Thuy province, Australian medical teams from the Civic Action Unit are treating villagers. This one at the village of Long Tuan is headed up by Major Ray Atkinson of Parramatta. Hello darling, hello boys, uh, all the best for Christmas. This is Gunner Gary McDermott 
of uh, Hilton Park. Uh, hello, Mum and Dad, and all the kids back home. I uh, want to send you Christmas greetings. Hope you all have a pretty good Christmas. Uh, thank you for the letters I got from you, and I hope all my parcels I sent uh, got home all right. Hope you like them. Uh, I'd also like to say hello to Dorothy. Hope you have a good Christmas. Private Mick Pollard is from Balga in Western Australia. Hey, Mum, Dad, Danny, Max, how are you? Hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I'd like to say hi to Ray. Hope you have a Merry Christmas too. And I'll be home in February. You all look after yourself and I'm well. Corporal Ron Brennan is from South Perth. Hi, Dad. It's good to be able to talk to you. Um, miss you very much. and be looking forward to coming home. Best of luck and uh, hope to see you soon. Sergeant Jim Osborne is from Nolamara. G'day, Mum, Dad, uh, Basil, Ann, Daffel, Dawn, Ian, David, Linda, uh, Little Jane. How are you all? Um, just want to say uh, all the best for Christmas. I wish I could be there, but uh, seeing as I can't, we'll make up for it next Christmas. Um, I hope everything's all right at home. I hope you get all my parcels. This compound is a veritable fort. It is manned predominantly by Montagnard troops who are advised by an Australian mobile advisory team. Its task is to provide the security for the new settlement village of Apsuine in the distance. It's playtime here at Apsuine State School. The state school, the school itself, the school building and the play equipment were provided by the Civil Affairs Unit of the Australian Task Force. Schoolhouse is not much good without books, pencils, crayons, etc. And the members of the Civil Affairs Unit distribute these commodities from time to time. Trooper Colin Cook comes from Bentley, Western Australia. I'd uh, just like to wish Mum and Dad a, and Clifford a Merry Christmas and best, best for the New Year and same to my sister and Paul. Sergeant Dong is a, uh, an interpreter, a Vietnamese interpreter, working with the Civic Affairs Unit. Uh, I myself and uh, to the teachers uh, here, the representative for the children here, so thank you very much for your thing. Something new is appearing on the skyline in Vietnam. They're good old Australian windmills, and one of the men who's helping to build them is Corporal Gary Bulsing of Balga. Hello, Janet, Arthur, Leah, Mum, Dad, and the rest. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all, and a Happy New Year. And I hope you're all well, and I'll be seeing you soon. Sapper Bernie McCormick is a member of the Engineer Detachment of the First Australian Civic Action Unit. His wife, Zeta, is waiting for him in Bunbury. Oh, hello, there, love. Uh, just thought I'd wish you a Merry Christmas, and... Uh, Happy New Year and hope things are going well back there. And just give the folks a hello for me too. I suppose they'll see me the same time you will. And things aren't too bad up here, as well as can be expected, I suppose. Still, we'll uh, be right when we're finished and we'll be back home pretty soon, I hope. It's relaxing time under the rubber trees at nearly that. This is Private Richard Barron from Mylands. How you going, Mum? I didn't think I'd get a chance to talk to you on Christmas Day, but here it is, so I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to Mum, Dad, and all the rest of the family, neighbours. Just like to say one thing, this beer's not too bad up here, but I like the old black duck. Thanks a lot. This is Private Len Reeve from uh, Manjimup. Hello, Mum, Dad. Brother, sister, and family. How are we all back home? Getting on pr pretty good over here. Run it on now for home about Five months and I'll be there with you. And we'll have another Christmas then. Okay? Private Ron, yeah. Private Ron Stallard's family is at Manup. Hey, yeah, Mum, Dad, family. Just want to send me Christmas greetings, all the thing, kids in relation. Yeah. And Lance Corporal Rod Barrett also comes from Maylands. Hi, Mum. Very funny wind. Uh, sorry to come here with this Christmas, but uh, 
at a few beers on me at home, and I hope to be home at 107 on the wakey. At Vung Tau on the South China Sea, the Australian Logistics Support Group is located. The control office of the 2nd Advanced Ordnance Depot at Vung Tau controls the issue and receipt of stores to the Australian Army in Vietnam. Sergeant Colin Lamotte's wife, Dorothy, is waiting for him at Swanbourne. Hello, Dottie. Colin, Kim, Sonia. Just want to say Merry Christmas to you. Love you and miss you all a lot. Not much I can say, honey. You know my feeling on Christmas. Just want to say God bless you. All my love. Corporal Charlie Harper is from Rivervale. Hello, Mum. Uh, Des, Joyce, Vern, Kevin. Uh, Mrs Andrews, George and Fran. Uh, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and hope you're having a good time and all the best for the New Year. I hope to see you very soon. Bye for now. Corporal Terry Halford's family is at East Victoria Park. Hey, Mum and Dad, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas. And Dorothy, Trevor and Barry, sorry I can't be there, but it won't be too long before I'm home now. And Corporal Richard Johnson is from Albany. Um, hello, Mum and Dad, the uh, rest of the family. I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and the best for the New Year. To my uh, fiancée, Cathy, Merry Christmas, love, and it won't be long before I'm home. Thousands of tons of stores are handled here at the 2nd Advanced Ordnance Depot at Brung Tower. Driving the forklift is Sergeant Bill Slater from Atterdale. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity of wishing my family a uh, very Merry Christmas, and I wish I was home with them. I'd firstly like to uh, wish my wife, Margaret, my five children, Donna, Jeff, Graham, Grant and Moira, my mother and father and sisters, a very Merry Christmas. Private Malcolm Hall is from Rivervale. Uh, I'd like to wish my mother and father a Merry Christmas, my sisters and brothers. Uh, there's a few too many to go through the lot of them, so I'll just wish them all a Merry Christmas and hope they have a Happy New Year. Proper Wayne Slater is from Catanning. I'd just like to wish my wife Vivian and daughter Leisha a very happy Christmas and uh, I hope the new year brings all the good things that you deserve. I'd also like to wish uh, my mother-in-law, father-in-law, my mother, Ron, Doug, Lois, Beverly and Gay uh, all the very best and I'll see you all in February. The sand and the salt air at Vung Tau plays havoc with vehicles and one of the men that keeps them in good nick is craftsman Brian Morrissey of Scarborough. Well, hello Mum and Dad, this is Brian speaking to you from Vung Tau. I'd like to wish us all at home a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks very much for the parcels and letters you have sent up to us and have been very enjoyable. I hope you're home, not too late, early into the New Year. Thanks and wish you a Merry Christmas once more. The provisioning of our troops in the field is the responsibility of Five Company, Royal Australian Army Service Corps. This is Craftsman Brian Forlong from Pinjara. Uh, I'd like to say uh, good day to my parents, brothers and sisters, and uh, Yvonne Regan. I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thanking everyone for the uh, parcels and letters that I've been receiving while I've been over here. And I hope to be home just after Christmas. God bless you all. In the ammunition stacking area of the 176th Air Dispatch Company, uh, these men are preparing 105mm ammunition for transportation by helicopter. This is Private Tony Harbjorn from Dalkeith. Uh, how's it going, Granny? Uh, I haven't got much to say, but not too bad over here. Uh, hope you're having a good Christmas back there. I should be home about late May, I'd say. Well, that's about all I can say, I suppose. It's not too bad over here. Robert Derry Mayfield is from Borden. Well, it's hello to Mum and uh, family. How is everything over there? Uh, well, it's just fine here. Uh, there's nothing wrong. I didn't think it was going to be as bad as what it is here. Well, that's all I can think of now. Well, fine. Now, these two Western Australians are both members of 17 Construction Squadron based at Bung Tower. Sapper Alan Cleaver comes from Wembley. Hello, Mum, Dad, Julian. A special hello to Lynn. Well, this is well, Christmas Day up here. Well, look this to you anyway down in Perth there. Hope you're all having a lovely Christmas dinner. And sorry that I can't be with you. I should be home an hour and hour early next year, January, February. I hope to see you then. So, goodbye now. 
Craftsman Tom Yellow's family lives at Bayswater. Hi, Mum and Dad. Hi, Kay. Hi, the rest of the family. Uh, I should be home in R&R, &R, so... Um, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and everything else like that. And I'll see you uh, around about January. Thank you. Here at the Peter Batko Club at Boong Tower, the war seems a long way away. Named after Major Peter Badko VC, the club, and in particular the swimming pool, provides a welcome break for servicemen on a two-day pass from operations further up country in Puk Tui. The Sergeant Herbie Ross is a physical training instructor here at the pool. Part of his job is to help uh, injured soldiers back on the road to recovery. He comes from Annandale. Hi, honey. How are you? Long time no see. However, I'll be with you shortly. Hello to David, Leanne, uh, and Mum, Dad, everyone down there at home. Just how are you going? This is a big shock to me. I didn't really think that I'd be able to do this, but here I am. I hope everything's OK at home, and please look after yourself. I'd like to say hello to all the fellas that have come through the pool on physiotherapy. Hope you're getting on all right now, chaps, and no troubles. If, uh, if I ever get to your place, I hope I'll see you real soon. Merry Christmas, honey. Thank you very much. Most of the troops serving in Vietnam get the opportunity for a few days relaxation on the beach at Vung Tau. It may not be Bondi, but it provides a well-earned break. The amenities of the beachside resort have been largely provided by donations from the people of Australia. Just about everybody is interested in boats. Private Don McWhorter is uh, convalescing after a bout in hospital. He comes from Caliburn. Hi, uh, Mum, Dad, folks. Um, I'd just like to wish you a Merry Christmas. And uh, I'm sorry I can't be home with you this year. I'd like to be with you, but that's the breaks. Uh, Bill and I will probably be home next June sometime, so we'll see you then.